Hey guys, welcome to Far From A Curse. Thank you guys so much for joining me again for another video. So today I have Derek. He actually goes to church with me. You wanna introduce yourself? Um, Derek Wilson, um, I know Blessing from Big Three World Church and um, yeah, she invited me to the show. <laughs> <laughs> So today is going to be about being single and being Christian. The reason why I have Derek here today is because I wanted to have a male perspective and then you have my perspective, of course female perspective. Basically I made this video just so that we could just talk about the common questions that come up a lot in our small groups or um, with other people that just ask us random questions about it. Because sometimes living this life is just, there's a lot of questions that come with it. So the first question is, should Christians date non-Christians? Hmm. Well, that's a rhetorical question to me. It's basically basically uh, a no, easy no. Like the standard, you know, the standard is different. Like um, not going in the same direction. So um, you know, when when hard times come um, come around. Um, what would you have to stand on? Like, um, do y'all go to the Bible or would you go to uh, the Quran? If they're Muslim, would you go, uh, what if they're atheists? Like, who would you turn to? Like, wh where would you put your hope in? Where would you go to, you know, to um, revive the, you know, that downtime? You know, so it's a, it's an easy no for me. <laughs> so I would say it is a no. It's a no because just like Derek said, you know, we're going in two different paths. Um, if I'm running through hard times, I'm always trying to be optimistic. Even when I could be the most negative, I'm like, okay, I know God told me to think of everything that's true, think of everything that's positive. But there are some people that are like, well, why are you believing in what the Bible says? You know, the Bible, you know, a man made it. Or like, I can't, like that's my source, you know? So it would be very insulting for me to be in a relationship with somebody that doesn't really have the same values as me, um, especially because I'm so firm in my faith, especially at this point in my life and I wanna continue to grow in my faith. So for me, I would say no, Christians is not, is not wise to date non-Christian. Just check out Samson. <laughs> I mean, he did it too. He had a lot of concubines. They actually turned him away from God. So yeah, a, a lot of people in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Just stay away. Okay, so this question is kind of like the same as the last one, in a sense. It is why is it important for Christians to only date Christians? And the re the reason why I have that question is because for me, I feel like it just adds another dimension to your relationship. So. I feel like it's important for you as a single to learn who God is for yourself. I feel like it's important to experience God for yourself and only rely on him for yourself. So when you have someone else that comes into the picture, it's almost like you guys have this, this bond with God by yourself, but you guys can be a force together. So it's kind of like where the Bible says that one chase 1,000 and two chase 10,000. And it's like, you guys understand the force of being in communion with each other. Yeah, I agree. Um, basically, um, that's what we talk about. Um, the Bible talk about equally yoked. I mean, and it's like you two people going in the same direction, y'all growing together. Um, y'all not, you know, tugging against each other. Um, and y'all all can um, stand on the same foundation. So, I mean, it's that's why it's better to date someone who's also a Christian. I mean, it's, like I said before, rhetorical. <laughs> it's beneficial. So the next question is, can men and women just be friends? You know, platonic relationships in the kingdom. I think, Definitely men and women can just be friends. Some people don't feel like they can. Um, I think it depends on that individual and where they are in relation with themselves. Um, so if I, so like, okay. So basically when you're at church, there are a lot of fine people, like there are. 
and sometimes you'll have somebody approach you or whatever and they're literally just being friendly but sometimes you feel like they like you but they're just literally just being your friend and um in the kingdom that happens a lot like especially because people just automatically want to go from being single to in a relationship they think that anybody that talks to them i've had this happen to me before so embarrassing but they think that anybody that talks to them wants them and that's not true and i think that it's important for men and women to be friends because whenever you get in a relationship your significant other is not going to be the only person that's fine to you there are going to be a lot of attractive people and you should be able to um know how to work with other people of the opposite sex you should be able to understand how to put those boundaries and understand what a friend looks like so like when you're living in the world you can say someone's your friend but you're doing other things with that person so when you're in a relationship if you see your significant other doing other things with other people when they were saying that you were just a friend it's like what the heck it like creates bur blurred lines like what the heck so i think how you treat the people around you like if the person you're with especially with just being single if i'm if i see like a brother like you know the way he treats women and like he's respectful and stuff i just i feel like that'll be reflective in our relationship and how he and how he acts when he's not around me and yeah um so basically i would say um it's the boundaries as well like um there's friendship boundaries it's something you do with um someone you're interested in and it's different from someone you just friends with and um also when if you if you friends with the, the opposite sex and you're dating someone um they should be able to be friends with them too like it should be open discussion it should be just fully open it shouldn't be nothing hidden um you know she you, you know the person you're dating should have to ask why is this person calling you like why why are y'all talking i mean it shouldn't be any confusion I mean, it should be proper, proper boundaries in place, and um, you know, everything should be like in the air about you know the status of y'all friendship. Okay, so the next question is, how do you work on yourself as a Christian before you find the one? Try to um, follow Christ. I mean, that's your first standard of measurement. Christ is the standard of measurement. I mean, I, I know a lot of us try to um, compare ourselves you know being a good person or a bad person in comparison to the next christian or whoever but christ should be the standard so if you follow christ that should be your first role model the person you you know you're trying to um, follow after and um you know outside of you know reading your word getting in your word and trying to um, be like christ the best you can um it's definitely is going to take a lot of accountability partners um a lot of I mean, a lot of um, heart checks. I mean, it's you're gonna need those. You're gonna have to um, let allow people to really judge you. Like you're gonna have to allow them to tell you um, the the real perception of you, uh, or when you get it wrong. You know, you're gonna have to open up to allow them to, you know, help you become better. You know, and that's um, that's why I think it's kind of like to um, do that. Yes, yeah, so like he said, um, definitely you have to understand your identity is in Christ and it's not in a relationship. And I'm saying you, but I'm talking to myself. I have to understand that my identity is in Christ. And I, you have to understand just how to pray before, before you get in a relationship. Because if you want to be in love um, God's way, you're going to have to learn how to be patient and long-suffering and you're gonna have to learn how to die to yourself so that's gonna take a lot of prayer and i believe that's taking a lot of that's gonna take a lot of prayer and just like derek said with accountability partners because if you have the right people that can check you um you can go to your friend who is a christian and tell them yo like this is what's going on they're gonna tell you okay well you know like dang okay well let's try to check into like what how have you been have you been praying to god lately um what was really going on with you in your heart like you know let's pray together they're not gonna well it depends on the person but someone that's really chasing after god too another christian um we're just gonna use that we're gonna use that scenario like someone that if i'm talking about a christian friend i'm just gonna talk about
someone that's really chasing God, okay? Not a lukewarm Christian friend, but a real Christian friend. Real Christian. Christian, Christian. Christian, Christian. So they're really going to try to put you on the right track. They're gonna pray with you, you know? Cause that's what I do with my friends. And I think before you get in a relationship, it is good to have a good set of accountability partners, like you said too, because you're gonna need that a lot. And it's important to have other people around you that are going the same direction. Okay, so as a single, sometimes we think like, you know, what are the dating expectations and what should dating actually look like? Like, what do we expect for dating? Dating for me looks like, you better talk to me. Um, dang, I don't, I'm not needy guys. But I'm just saying like, I've been, I've talked to someone once where they just talk to me once a week. I'm sure they were talking to other people, like, <laughs> like what the heck? Um, but I have to at least see you once a week. Like, you know, I gotta see you at least once a week. Um, but just to be serious, I would love, I love, I really love going to the Bible and it's, it will be amazing to be with somebody that is like, yo, like, look at what I read today. Look at, um, this devotional that I read or something like we're sharing and we're just bouncing off um our ideas on what god has told us you know throughout the day or dreams or whatever like those are just some of the dating expectations that i have is that the person definitely will be a christian but we can definitely share insight on the word together yeah, and definitely you want to um, you want to do things that brings um growth to the both of you um and more of the experience like um do things that she may want to do or y'all do things that you want to do that she haven't done. Um, just have new, make new experiences. Um, that's going to build the growth and, you know, that's going to help you learn that person as well. You know, what they like, what they don't like. Um, and y'all can just, you know, just have adventures. Just go have fun with, the, <laughs> with each other. Like, it don't have to be a boring, I'm reading my Bible every day type of, <laughs> Christian relationship. Yes, we Christians, but we like to have fun. Like okay, we... day. Well, I feel like I gave some oh, Christian answers. I wasn't. I mean, well, this was I want to have this fun too. Towards you, I wanna... though. I'm a, this is for the people who's outside looking in. They thinking like, man, I don't want to be a Christian, man. You're going to have me reading the Bible <laughs> every night, you know. And... It's crazy because reading the Bible is actually like when you go into it and when you start having conversations with people that read their Bible, you be talking forever, okay? Yeah, yeah. Like, and I remember um, I listened to Tori Roberts' message, and one of his messages, I can't remember. I think it's the five keys to identifying your soulmate. It was really good to me. I really enjoyed that message, and he talked about the difference between chemistry and connection. And one of the things he said about chemistry is you can have chemistry with anybody. You know, mm -hmm. you can. Be attracted to a lot of people and you are attracted to this person because you guys like similar things and you guys like the way the person looks physically or how they dress or their career and stuff but one of the things he said was you can have chemistry with a hundred people but you'll only have a connection with a few with like probably five good people in the world that you probably will meet that could be the person you're supposed to be with so that connection is the connection between you your relationship with god and their relationship with god and that's what connects you to so, dang, I'm going back to a Christian answer, but. Yeah, I mean, you can't, that's what it's centered on, so. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying it's not limited to, like, mm -hmm. you know, cause I know growing up, you know, I said my answer because I know, you know, growing up, I'm like, man, that's the last thing on my list is follow after God. That was like my last thing, you know, I'm gonna just, after I have my wife and kid, we're gonna read the Bible together, <laughs> you know, let the kid play in the yard. I mean, it was just, boring that was just it like yeah. i'm done i'm old god you can have me now like that was my <laughs> that was my perception you know kind of growing up and like well you know like gonna read my bible that's gonna be the last thing on the list to do after you know we have fun we turn up we do this we do that but yeah you see where I'm at now, so. <laughs> I had to go get them from last and put them first. I mean, I, right. I had a complete 180. Mm -hmm. Don't be looking at me, bro. <laughs> so the next question is, how can dating lead to lessons learned? 
So the reason why I'm asking this question is because a lot of people think that, well, some Christians that I've talked to believe that you shouldn't really date in the kingdom. You should just, you know, believe in God that he's going to send the person that you're supposed to be with and then that's who you're with and married to. And I don't think so. I think that it's important to date. I think it's important to figure out what you like in a person and what no the qualities you would like to see in the person you want to be with. So it's kind of like when you do go to the car lot, like I mean, some people just get in the first car because they've actually did their research too. So that's that's probably why they get in the first car and they're like, okay, this is it. So I feel like you need to just research and try to figure out what you like in a in your potential mate so there are some qualities that i like i like someone that um dang, what do i like that's what i'm saying <laughs> no okay the qualities i like for real okay so the qualities i like you have to um be able to talk to me because i talk a lot so if you listen. are someone that doesn't <laughs> maybe i need to listen well, we need to be able to have like conversation like flow and stuff. Well, you have to, of course, you know the Bible, Bible number one. Um, work out. I mean, I'm in the army, so I have to work out, but if I'm with somebody that already likes to work out, it's so much easier for me to work out because sometimes I don't like working out, so. I don't never like working out, so. If I had somebody to work out, it'd be like just more motivation because we like, you know, we want to see like each other get in help. Oh, well. Let me talk about my person. I like to see the other person. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I didn't know you. Was, yeah. No, I'm still trying go, to think. Well, go ahead. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> okay, so another way it can lead to lessons learned is you learn that you're not compatible with everyone, and that's okay. And it's it's good to figure out what you like um, by learning different people, going on dates, and you get to learn more about yourself. Like, are you patient? Um, how do you, what, should, what is your love language? And also I guess the pressures for getting married. Like in the church, there could be some high pressure as soon as you get in a relationship, people are probably like, yo girl, like you know what you gotta pop out? Because you know, every Christian gets married after six months. <laughs> um, but when the, the dating, dating allows you to figure out what you like, figure out who you are in the process. And it, I feel like it makes you possibly appreciate the person that you're supposed to be with more because you're like wow like I finally found you like we found each other like God led me to you yeah uh, I'm both I, I mean I can agree with both both ways uh, I don't think you personally have to date like many people because I mean for one if I if I see a like 